Toyota stands behind their vehicles and service after the sale. Whether you need to purchase, finance, or service a new or pre-owned Toyota, you've come to the right place. With new cars in weekly, Quality Toyota will make sure you find the vehicle that's the right price for you. Visit them today in Independence and see why Quality Toyota is the most trusted Toyota dealership in Southeast Kansas. Quality Toyota, 2101 West Main in Independence. Live from the field, your voice of the Neosho County Panthers, Zoll Lopez. Five to four, the Neosho County Panthers trail it as they go back to work on Kilpatrick. Now Kilpatrick and his uh, effort in relief was able to throw out Austin Polk. Didn't really get a chance to see what he could do at the plate. Leading off for Neosho County, Neosho number five, five Eric Dustin. The two, three, four, back on the sitting for the Neosho County Panthers. Panthers yet again have to work from behind. They have not led. They were able to tie it in the bottom of the fourth. One run in the top of the fifth. Right now the difference in this ball game. Pitch misses down low, ball one. Dawson today, one for two. And this one swung on, hit out towards left, the wind dies right down. Left fielder giving chase and comes up with it. And the first out is recorded in the top of, or the bottom of the fifth. Bring up Now betting for Neosho, number 25, Caleb Compton. Compton today with a walk. As he singles and came around to score in the third. And in the fifth inning, it's been Neosho County's second strongest inning this season. They scored 20 runs this season. Their strongest, the third. Pitches in there to a strike to Compton. Neosho County being out hit 11 to 5. Pitch fills in promptly. Ball one. One one pitch. Down low. Two and one. Now the wind not nearly blowing as hard. Earlier, as evident by that hit, goes inside three and one. Kilpatrick struggling with his command. Those teams still have pitchers out there on the mound working. So we get set for the sixth inning. Pitch going on to hit sharply towards the first baseman. Roll over to first in time. There's a three one out. It's back to back out for the Panthers. For Neosho, number 14, Adam Jackaloni. And Jackaloni. Went out of the way, trying to win the best two for you. And he didn't at least get a higher run across. And since the Panthers have been having to play from behind all day long, playing to Fort Scott's game. <coughs> Nobody on it. Jack Loney takes the first pitch over to left foul territory and out of play. And the wind picks back up. Beautiful day today. Compare that to yesterday. 76 today. Tomorrow's going to be another beautiful game in stores. The pitch misses down low, ball one. So far today, 0 and 2. Get it to the 4 6 out to end the first. It was the second out in the third. As he hit into the unassisted out. 2 1 hit. High ball three. And right now for the Panthers, that's all it takes is. Oh, well, come back now. One hit to keep it alive, and that was the case in the third and fourth. Down low, Watson. 
Next up on the O Show, number three, third baseman, Garrett Shady. Shady will come up. Two runs batted in. Get both runs there in the third. Leading by a run. Hits. Swung on. Bounce back. And this one will stay out of play. Shady leads off with a 0-1 count. Shady, pitch, down low, ball two, or excuse me, ball one. Keith waiting on deck next. Throw over to first, not in time. Jack Maloney reaches softly, or safely. Yosho County. For a sport in every inning, but the first this one to hit out towards center field. And this will come. And the center fielder has it sold. And the fourth guy, Greyhound, recaptured the lead. And the Panthers have yet to. Once again, we are selling t shirts for $15. All proceeds will go to the V Foundation. We thank you for your support. You can purchase your t shirt at the table behind the Panther dugout. Thank you. Landlords, are you tired?